Realty Friends. I wanted to introduce to you um, a new product that's in my store. Um, these are my handmade um, altered uh, clothespins. They look like this. Regular dollar store clothespins. And um, these are my altered ones that I did. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to show you um, I know everybody likes um, everything that I do and everything, and I want to begin to show you just what you could do with my product, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to showcase my new line. As you can see, each piece carries a piece of my bling from my Bling Splendor collection, and uh, of course there will be new, new bling coming. So. It's on order. I'm supposed to get two styles tomorrow, I believe it is. And uh, I thought, okay, I really want to, sh really want to do some shabby chicy style um, clothespins, and I just went wild with it. Um, the flower here is handmade. Um, let me just show you. Here we go. There we go. The flower is handmade, and it um, has a piece of my bling in the center. You also get this one, uh, which has a piece of lace, another piece of my bling, uh, with a rose and some pearl accent. You get this one. This one's really cute, I think. Um, this one here has the two flowers with the piece of my bling, two roses, and some pearl accents. And this one is more like a vintage uh, piece of metal with a beautiful piece of my bling in the center and I also stamped um, images on the uh, clothespins and they're stamped on both sides and uh, they're also um, sanded and painted just like that see beautiful I like this one it's music notes Okay, so I am going to demonstrate on how you can use these um, in projects. Uh, I'm just going to do a tag, and I'm going to work with Prima, uh, Prima's paper line, and I'm going to pick out a piece here. This is uh, Prima's lyric collection. Um, it's been very popular this year, and I can't wait to see what they're going to come out with at CAJ which is only I think it's next week uh, I unfortunately am not going but I've been getting a lot of emails about new stuff so okay I'm just going to pick a place here there we go and this is pretty much what I want to do okay so, I'm going to take this and use some double-sided tape. I like double-sided tape. Especially, um, for projects like this, like when you need to get kind of into the nitty-gritties of everything. It's really helpful. Okay, so now just take a scissor or your tool to remove the backing. I love score tape. Okay, so we're going to remove the backing. Then we're going to cover it with that beautiful piece of paper. And we're going to add some embellishment. And we're going to add my new altered clothespins. Okay. Let's see. All right. Now just kind of remember where you wanted it. And just lay it down like that. Okay. And you're just simply going to cut around it with your scissor. a little under the weather this week. I don't know what is going on. It's 
like, get over it. It has done nothing but rain all week. And there's more rain coming. I wonder if this is a precursor to what kind of winter we're going to have this year. Tennessee doesn't get a lot of snows, but I'm just curious. Okay, so I like that. It's very pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some ink out. And I'm going to ink the edges. I think I want to use this color. It's called Leather, and it's by it's Donna Salazar's Mixed Media Inks. So I'm just going to lightly take. lightly do it like that. I always bring the ink to my projects. I never bring my projects to the ink. When you bring the ink to the project, you have more control. Okay? That's just a rule of thumb I've always went by. Like there. Okay? Then, just going to brush it on there. And you know, just like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I got this beautiful image of a vintage lady, and I'm going to cut this down, way down, because it's just too big for the tag, and I'm just fussy cutting it. I'm not, okay, just like that. Now, I do want to add some lace at the bottom here, so I'm just going to use a piece of double-sided tape for the time being, okay? There we go. Um, these clothespins can be uh, made uh, to embellish um, mixed media project tags like you see here. Um, also you can use them on clipboards, altered clipboards, just tons and tons and tons of different things that you can use them for. And I think they're absolutely darling. Okay, there's one. Alright, now as you can see, okay, I've got to poke my hole through here so I know what to do. Where's my hole punch? Oh, I'll just poke it through with my uh, little stylus thingy here. There we go. Okay. Now, you can put this on there and then take one of these altered paper clips and you can have it like holding the picture like that. Um, now this would be pretty for a layout. Um, you can also double up on them you know, if you want it to. I think that's pretty. And you can, um, if you really want to shabby chic this up, Get you a piece of burlap and you're going to fray it just like that by pulling the um, fibers. Okay. Let's see. Kind of do that. I'm going to do some double stick tape. Okay. I like making things on a whim. Um, I always tend to do that, so it seems sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see how it works here. All right.
there you go. I'm just gonna, even though I'm going to pin it on, just for added uh, measure, I, no matter what, I always, uh, whatever my little clips or pins or anything is gonna hold, I always glue it down for added support. So now you can pin that right on there. And this would be beautiful hanging on one of those um, those things that people are doing like an old picture frame and then they're putting chicken wire and then you can make this tag and pin that right in there. I think that would be absolutely beautiful doing it that way. And I plan on making one of them by the way sometime. I want one to one. I've been wanting one, but see, I've always put it, take, you know, put it off because I was waiting to uh, move into my home. So I'm just going to snip off a piece of lace here. So then I'm going to push it right on through here. And of course, you can get as elaborate or as shabby chic as you would like, but this is for demonstration purposes. There you go. And see, now you can add a sentiment. You can leave it there. You can add pearls um, around. In fact, you can even use another, if you wanted to, you can work it like that you could work it like sideways like this which would be beautiful you could um, pin it like that so these are absolutely beautiful um, and see look you can put that just like that at the top of your tag in or your project so these are absolutely perfect and beautiful for projects to you know that you can do they're already in a sp um, a spray form so they are co they're complementary to most anything I think if you like shabby chic and roses and bling I don't think you ever could go wrong um, it just brings the girl out of us that's what it is so and see you can just pin that right there like bring your tails down and then pin it right on top of there like that and if you wanted um, you could just keep on adding these or use them as clips or just just anything I mean um, the projects that you could think of are just endless when you want to create with these I think they, they're fun, they're different, and they're very economical and very uh, reasonable to create, um, to alter if you want to take the time to stamp and sand and paint each one. Um, but I do have these in my store, and this collection is available for purchase. You can find all the links down below. And I wanted to share that with you and for all of y'all to see what all you could do with this. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. Oh, another thing, like if you have a, uh, I just want to, just like a FYI, if you have a, a piece, a lace flower like this, and you're like, mm, I don't know what to do, you can simply put the lace flower down on there and just slip the lace right under there and look at that is that not gorgeous and see if you get bored or you want to change you can always change see just bam or if you want to add look at that isn't that gorgeous gorgeous so these are very versatile very unique and they're available in my store at www.shopangelaholtdesigns.com again if you have any questions uh, let me know and uh, I would be making more of these in different styles and colors um, 
it just takes a very long time to make these because there's a lot of product and detail in them. So just stay tuned and uh, also stay tuned for updates of my new bling. Thank you.